Hello and welcome everyone. Today we're going to talk about host preference packages, which is a feature in Central somewhat hidden under the configuration tab. A host preference package is a group of settings that dictate how LogMeIn behaves on computers, from the program's appearance and accessibility on the host side, to setting defaults for remote control sessions, to enhancing security settings. When the package is applied to a host machine, the settings are pushed to the LogMeIn registry keys directly and instantly. If you've worked in the Preferences menu of the LogMeIn control panel on a host machine, then you've seen a few of the most popular settings that can be applied in mass using a host preference package. In fact, when a preference package is applied to a group of computers, you will see these settings change to follow suit and gray out to prevent changes. If you've ever wondered if a feature of LogMeIn software could be modified, then you're most likely looking to make a change using a host preference package. All right, enough description. Let's create one to see how it works. To get started, we want to navigate to our Configuration tab and select Host Preferences. Immediately, we're brought to a screen which displays our current packages and the computers that they're assigned to. In this case, we'll select Add Package to create a new one. You'll want to name the package as specifically as possible based on what we will be changing from the default. Let's say, for example, I want to prevent end users on host machines from interacting, changing, or disabling LogMeIn. I can do this easily with a host preference package, so I'll call this package Hide LogMeIn. I'm now brought to a page where I can select from seven broad categories of host preferences. While I'm going to cover some of the most popular in this video, you'll want to spend some time reviewing these categories. If you're unsure of a particular preference, don't worry. Simply tooltip over the checkbox to see a description of what happens when the preference is modified. After reviewing the available preferences, I've decided that four will help me to achieve my desired result. The first change is made in the Access Control category, where I'm going to deselect the last option allow users to turn off LogMeIn. Here, my tooltip tells me that this will disable the Turn Off button in the LogMeIn control panel. Naturally, I'll want to prevent this, so I deselect the option and hit Save. Next, I'm going to proceed to my Appearance category to make the remaining three edits. I'm going to deselect Display the LogMeIn icon in the system tray to prevent calling attention to the host software. In the same vein, I'm going to select the next option as well, Disable LogMeIn Notification Messages. This will not only remove the LogMeIn icon, but also prevent any system messages from popping up regarding LogMeIn. Finally, as the end users on the host machines will not be performing any remote sessions themselves, I deselect the last option, Show LogMeIn Client on Computer. This will effectively remove the LogMeIn Client shortcut from the computer's system tray and start menu. But notice that this setting has an asterisk next to it. The asterisk indicates that the change will only take effect after the host computer is rebooted. This makes sense as I'm removing an item from the start menu, but I will need to reboot this machine to see the desired results. With my four desired changes made, I'll click Save and return to the main menu by clicking Host Preferences once again. Preference packages are similar to alert packages in that only one preference package can be applied to a computer at a time. Here, I have the ability to assign the package to any computer that I want to be affected. In this case, I'll move my Guardian computer into the package and click Save. All of my settings, apart from hiding the LogMeIn client, have been instantly applied. Let's move over to the Guardian computer to take a look at our handiwork. When I navigate to my system tray, the LogMeIn icon no longer appears. I can still access it from the Start menu, but as I do, you'll notice my Turn Off button has been disabled. Let's head over to Preferences and see if we can change anything there. Immediately, you'll notice that the application of the host preference package has prevented any editing from the settings through the LogMeIn control panel. This is true for all user profiles of the computer, including admins, 
and will remain in effect until I remove the package from the computer. A host preference package is also a great way to mandate additional security settings on a host machine. Additional security settings that can be configured include preventing login credentials from being saved in a browser cookie, or hiding the list of available domains in the access control category. In IP address lockout, modifying the number of failed login attempts or HTTP requests prior to a host lockout, and how long the host remains locked should this number be reached. In the remote control category, a whole slew of security options for securing remote control sessions appear here, along with the host side user consent form for allowing remote sessions when the computer is in use. So what other modifications can we make using a host preference package? Here are some of the most popular and their corresponding categories. Configurations and storage of debug level logs along with the video recordings of remote sessions in the log settings category. Disabling the remote printing and remote sound features within the remote control category. Displaying custom logos and messages on host computer login screens in the advanced category. These are only a few of the many customizable options located in the host preferences section, so take some time to familiarize yourself with the various categories. Remember that host preferences like alerts or computer groups, can be attached to a deployment package, enabling you to set down these parameters at the time of install. Thanks for listening, and be sure to check back for additional videos on Central.